Hmm, don't let fear kill your dream retirement. <laughs> okay, did you get scared? Did you get fearful? I bet my kids watch that. They just got freaked out. So let me ask you this. Have you ever heard someone say, I'll get around to it someday. Yeah, someday, someday I'll do it. Someday I'll be a business. Someday I'll be a real estate investor. Someday I'm gonna be living my life to the fullest. Listen. It's all a bunch of junk, okay? It's all a bunch of malarkey. It's all a bunch of BS because there's no such thing as someday. That is an excuse people use because they are fearful. They give in to their fears and their doubts and their insecurities. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to tear that right off the page. Fear should not define your investing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to eliminate that fear, help you understand where that fear comes from so you can make the money you deserve to make in real estate. Let's go. All right, so we're talking about fear, right? Like my scary knife and wig. Like we're talking about fear. What is fear? Do we realize how much fear actually gets in the way of us generating income and generating money? So let's talk about what fear is, right? I have this like ridiculous fear of spiders, okay? I don't like spiders. Ew, I don't, do you like spiders? I don't like spiders. And I'm pretty sure that the fear comes from, remember that movie, Arachnophobia? I watched that movie when I was like a kid and I'm still terrified of spiders today. But here's the crazy thing. I've never been bitten by a spider. I've never had a spider attack me. I've never had some sort of negative consequence as a result of a spider. But if I see one on the wall, I throw my shoe at it. Spider! There's a spider, I throw a shoe at it because I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch a thing. I don't want to see it squish. But here's the thing, a spider's never really affected me or attacked me. So what does that tell me? It tells me that I'm reacting to something that I don't even know is gonna be real. And this is exactly what the someday investor does. The someday investor goes, hey, I'll start investing when the market does right. I'll, I'll start investing when the interest rates get real low. I'm going to invest when ain't no place no more. Don't be like Uncle Cletus. Don't take action because you're afraid of what's gonna happen when you don't even know what's gonna happen. Fear is nothing more than an emotional response to a perceived danger. That's all it is. What happens is we trigger this physical response from a perceived danger. We have people all the time right now. They're like, I don't know if I want to invest in real estate. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen with the market. I don't know what's going to happen with the dollar. I don't know what's going to happen with the, the political situation. I don't know if inflation is going to go up. I don't know if the market's going to go to crater. And th if you think of all of these, they're nothing more than excuse. It's just fear. Fear motivates us in ways that we don't even realize. And fear is robbing you of your ability to go do real estate. So if we think of it like this, let me tell you what actually happens when we get fearful, okay? When we perceive a danger, and where's that danger coming from? We hear people not on videos like this. I'm telling you, don't be fearful. But when we hear the news media and we hear our friends and we hear our family, we are constantly reacting to people that don't know, but perceive fear. And then we perceive that their perception is accurate. And so we say, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna get out of here. All we're doing is reacting to a potential. The someday investor reacts to the potential of what could be, not what has been. And that's the real key. If you want to avoid fear, you have to understand where fear is coming from. Now, if fear is an emotional response to a perceived danger, that emotion triggers a physical response. In this case, it triggers a monetary response. Because if we're fearful that we don't know what's gonna happen with the market, what we end up doing is we go, I'm just gonna hold off, I'm just gonna wait. But I want you to ask yourself this question. If you're thinking right now, I know I wanna get into real estate, but I'm not sure about the market, why? Why are you not sure about the market? What are you not sure about? Most of us don't even realize why we're fearful. All we're doing is reacting to something that we think is going to be the case. Now, let me tell you what's real. In fact, we're gonna tell you what's real in just a second, because you know that you're reacting from fear. You know that fear has gotten in the way of you be able, being able to, to successfully invest in real estate. And by the way, do you know what the acronym for fear is? It's false evidence appearing real. So what you end up reacting to is evidence. You perceive it to be evidence, but it's false evidence. Here's the reality of the situation. Real estate, regardless of the market, regardless of the interest rate, regardless of what's happening, regardless of the political climate, real estate always is successful if you hang onto it long enough. So if you can wait 
then the success will come. See, the someday investor is the one looking at that false evidence that appears real and keeping them from moving forward. Now, I'm gonna describe for you in just a moment precisely who the someday investor is because I want you to see if you are that someday investor so that we can get you out of that state, okay? So you may be wondering who that person is and, and if you are that person, I'm gonna give it to you and there's a whole bunch of characteristics that I'm gonna lay out for you in just a second. But before I get there, I just wanna take a moment and say thank you for watching. You know, I know that this channel maybe is a little bit different than other channels that you're watching, and I hope that it is. I hope that we're talking about things that you don't hear in other YouTube channels. I hope that we're talking about stuff that isn't just real estate, but you understand how it relates to real estate, because this channel, it's all about giving you the stuff you actually need to be successful. And if all I did is give you tactical real estate tips and tricks, well, that would be helpful. There's a thousand other channels that are doing the same thing. If all I did is give you mindset hacks so that you could be successful in real estate, but I didn't give you the tactical way to do it, Look, there's a thousand other channels that are doing that same thing. What we get to do here is I'm going to give you the tactical aspects of real estate combined with the mindset and the way you should look at it. And that's what's going to help you stack micro wins in order to create millions. So I'm thankful that you're at the, here at this channel. I want you to know we'll continue to share videos that are awesome, that give you everything you need so you can stack micro wins, so you can replace your income, so you can create some form of economic independence, so you can create real wealth for you and your family. And so here's what I want you to do. I just want you to subscribe to the channel. I want you to I want you to, to like this video. I want you to share this video. I want you to come and be a part of this community. So together, we can declare economic independence. So together, we can realize that the way the rest of the world looks at real estate and even looks at what we're doing, we can realize we've got a, we've got a community here of like-minded people where we can go and create the kind of success that will set you and your family up forever, the kind of success that outlives you. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, share with anybody that you know. Okay, so we know that fear defines the someday investor because we're constantly going, I don't know what's gonna happen, I'm scared, and so I'll invest someday, I'm gonna wait. So who is the someday investor? Are you the someday investor? Let me tell you who the someday investor is. Someday investors, for the most part, are the majority of people in America who grew up believing the American dream was to buy your home, pay it off, and live in one place forever. Someday investors are usually hardworking employee types who trade time for money, who hoard money for that someday, and rarely, if ever, enjoy their life in the immediate. I'll tell you, we have worked with so many someday investors and we give them permission to start to move forward because they will spend a lifetime trying to accumulate income, but they'll never go on vacation. That's another type of someday investor. Stability, consistency, and security are very important to someday investors. And the 2008 real estate disaster probably made a bigger impact on them than any other types of investors. So if you were a someday investor then, you were waiting for the someday, and you saw it all collapse, you're probably like, I'm not ever gonna invest again. Well, listen, one thing that I do love about the someday investors is that they understand the value of saving and planning for the future, which absolutely is important, by the way. But at the same time, we believe in also living your life now rather than always kicking the can down the road for someday. If all you do is take that fear, the false evidence appearing real, in order to and use it as an excuse to not move forward and to not move forward with real estate and not generate income, but you say, well, I'm a saver and I'm just trying to be safe and secure. Listen, that someday investor mentality will keep you from generating the wealth that frankly you should be generating if you wanna make a difference for your family. Now, look, is, is all of that guaranteed uh, to any of us that, that one day it's all gonna work out? Well, listen, we wanna help you make the most of understanding the current real estate market and the mindset required to move forward. And that person, the person that understands the principles of wealth creation and that has the tactics of doing real estate, that's somebody we call the principled real estate investor. See, the principal investor doesn't just wait to celebrate in the future. The principled investor can take advantage of what's happening now, and that's what I want you to do. Don't be a someday investor who kicks the can down the road. Be a principled investor who takes action today. Overcome that fear and try to move forward with a set of principles and a mindset that creates actual real success for you. That means instead of waiting 30 years to retire and or hoping that you outlive your money, 
you can get started with conservative properties in desirable areas, even in a normalizing market like this one, as the market's kind of shifting and not what it was and becoming something different. You can still take advantage of a market like this and begin living now while also having extra cash to tuck away, to flow in for a rainy day or for two day. It's the best of both worlds. So here's what I want you to take away from this video. Do not let fear define your investment experience. Do not run around being the someday investor thinking that someday you'll start, someday you're gonna get going because every day that's a someday is a day that you're losing today. What I mean is you can make money today. You can get started today and that's what we are here to do. So if you're ready to get into real estate, but the thought of having to be a landlord and, and, and the, the someday potential of like, I don't know if I wanna deal with that someday. If that's fear for you and you're fearful of that, then listen, that's what we are here to do. If you invest in single family rentals done the right way in the right markets with the vast majority of the work being done for you, you can mitigate some of that fear. You can eliminate some of that uncertainty and you can actually start to realize the potential of both the now and the future. You don't just have to be a someday investor looking to the future. And you don't just have to be a get rich quick kind of person who needs to make money today. If you're a principled real estate investor, you, you shelf fear and you move forward with faith. And when you do that, it's very difficult to have faith if you don't know what's coming. That's what we are here for. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go down into the description. I want you to click the link below. I want you to visit dfy-realestate.com. And I want you to let us help you overcome the fear of investing in real estate, overcome the fear so that you're not a someday investor, but you're a principled real estate investor who moves forward with faith and with purpose, with the definiteness of knowing what you're trying to accomplish and how you're gonna get there. Because what we do is we have a company that desires for you to be successful. And the way that we do that is step by step, one property at a time, and it all begins with a phone call where we can chat, where we can take a look at where you're at and what you're trying to accomplish. And if you are a fearful investor, if you are a someday investor, we can teach you the right types of principles and show you all of the proof and all of the reasons why today is the best possible time to get started. So click the link in the description, go visit dfy-realestate.com, and we'll talk to you real soon.